how is it that a nose detects scents and, and get to sort of, you know, the idea of vanilla versus jasmine? So the, the, the magic of the sense of smell is that it's, it's, a, it's a chemical sense. You have to, if you, if you, if you, if, if you ask someone to smell something, it, they'll typically close their eyes and you have to take a breath in and so then you're, you're uh, bringing chemicals into your nose and um, you have this big array of proteins that are able to bind to those smell molecules in different ways. And so you can imagine if you have, if you have 400 options and each of them can bind to a combination of different scents, the coding potential, the number of different smells that you can encode with the system is huge, is vast, is sort of uncountable, which is really convenient because we don't know what sense we might encounter um, in the future. So the human nose is prepared for virtually, for virtually any scent. And so if you get on a plane and travel to another part of the world, you don't have to learn to detect those things. You can encounter completely unfamiliar scents because you're endowed with this, this huge set of of, of chemical detectors, and um, there's some overlap in the code, so um, there's some overlap in vanilla, so you may activate some of the same receptors with the scent of vanilla and the scent of jasmine. But it can also get really complicated, they can start canceling each other out. So when you start mixing things together, which is what perfumers do, things can become very unpredictable. So there's been good experiments showing that if I train each of you to smell jasmine or vanilla or something like wintergreen, you can learn to distinguish those. Once I start mixing them together, people are completely stumped. It's like my Joe Malone lime mandarin orange lotion. Thank God she didn't go beyond three. Because <laughs> once, once, once you go beyond three components, people are completely stumped because the 400 receptors start interacting and, and something, it will be like A plus B will produce Z. So a completely different percept emerges, which is why perfumery ends up being so empirical and so artistic because you can't, you can, you can predict what colors, you guys have all mixed colors together, you can, you, can, you can predict what you'll get if you mix two colors. You actually can't predict what will happen if you mix two smells.